million years ago to something called a nebular collapse. Basically, picture a vast swirling cloud of gas and dust way out in space. Okay, so we've got this giant cloud. What caused it to collapse? Gravity. You see, every bit of matter attracts every other bit of matter. And in a cloud that massive, gravity starts to pull everything inward. Makes sense. Kind of like how a ball rolls downhill, gathering momentum. Exactly. And it's likely that something like a nearby supernova, a giant exploding star, gave this cloud an initial push. So this cloud is collapsing. What happens next? As it shrinks, it spins faster and faster, like a figure skater pulling in their arms. Most of the material ends up clumped right in the center, forming our sun. Ah, the birth of the star. But what about the rest of the cloud? The leftover material, it flattens out into a spinning disk around the young sun. And this disk, this is where Earth and all the other planets in our solar system came from. Wow, so we're basically cosmic leftovers from this flat disk of dust. How on Earth did we get a whole planet? Well, that's where things get really interesting. It's a process called planetary accretion, and it all started about 4.5 billion years ago. Imagine tiny microscopic grains of dust just floating around in this disk. I'm picturing it a cosmic dust bunny. <laughs> Perfect analogy. Now these dust grains, they start bumping into each other and sticking together. You know, even static electricity played a role. I'm picturing those styrofoam peanuts that cling to everything. Right. So these little clumps, they grow bigger and bigger, eventually forming planetesimals. Basically, these are like baby planets, asteroid-sized chunks of rock and ice. So our planet started as a bunch of tiny little pebbles, basically. Pretty much. And those planetesimals, they kept colliding and merging like a giant slow-motion demolition derby in space. Wow. Building a world instead of destroying one. So that's how we get a proto-planet, a baby Earth. Exactly. But this early Earth, it was nothing like the planet we know and love today. We're talking 4.5 billion years ago, and it was a molten, chaotic world, constantly bombarded by these planetesimals. So no oceans, no trees, just a fiery ball of rock. Yeah. And the heat was intense from all those impacts and from radioactive decay happening inside the planet. This heat actually caused something called differentiation. Differentiation? What's that? Think about it like mixing oil and water. They yeah. separate, right? Well, inside the molten Earth, heavier elements like iron sink to the center, forming the core. Ah, uh, so the Earth was basically sorting itself out. Exactly. And the lighter materials rose to the surface, eventually solidifying into the Earth's crust. It was a pretty violent birth for our planet. And then there's the moon, right? Another dramatic chapter in Earth's early history. Absolutely. Around 4.4 billion years ago, a Mars-sized object called Thia slammed into the early Earth. Talk about a cosmic fender bender. That's insane. So 